Hey guys, and welcome to Brain Eaters. I'm Mary Lortz. And I'm Hallie Heaver. And this week, we're going to be talking about bugs. Specifically, eating them. And bugs. How they're good for you. They're gross, but we should be eating them. People have been eating bugs for forever, um, and we just have thought that it's been gross since we haven't paid attention. But now that we're sort of exhausting our resources, mm -hmm. keeping all this farmland for cows and huge animals, people are starting to think more like, oh, you know what? Plentiful bugs. We should probably try getting in on that. Yeah, and I think that makes sense. I think the only reason we don't really eat bugs is we think we're too good for it. Like, we think <laughs> we're above that. When the apocalypse happens, we'll be eating bugs, no, no problem. The thing that really changed my mind is crickets, uh, if you have like 100 grams of crickets, they only have 121 calories and like 12.9 grams of uh, protein, which is better than anything else we're eating right now. Well, how many is 100 grams of crickets? 100 is that 100 grams. crickets or is that 10 crickets? Yeah. Um, I don't know, actually. That's 100 grams question. is, is it, it doesn't seem like a lot. Yeah. It's like, it seems like a small amount. I guess it also depends on the size of the crickets. Yeah. We're gonna have to start measuring things in grams. You know why eating bugs should be more popular is because of the paleo movement. So yes. people who ate like cavemen ate or whatever, but like, the, you know, the movement of like, oh, it's like high protein uh, yeah. and vegetables, mm -hmm. no carbs, no sugar, mm -hmm. not a lot of dairy, I don't think. Mm -hmm. But uh, bugs are perfect for that. You yeah. are, there's like no carbs. It's like an insane amount of iron. You get a ton of protein. Yeah. Like what would it take for us to eat bugs? What would it take for you yeah. to eat a bug? Crickets, I think, um, I'm pretty already on board with because yeah. I I love soft shell crab. If you fry up a soft okay. shell crab, what's the difference? That's yeah. the same thing. And crabs aren't less disgusting. You no, crabs, crabs are, are disgusting. disgusting. Yeah, eating a soft shell, eating an entire crab is gross, but I <laughs> yeah. love it. And grasshoppers uh, are pretty big, so yeah. you know you would be able to get like a significant amount of. Yeah, is it meat inside? I guess. I guess that's some meat. I think it's the same as crab, where it's like mostly leg. And then, like, you got that tender little middle of something. Someone has to brand bugs. Not like, okay, this is not gross. They have to brand it. This is actually delicious. That's Somebody what they has to did. make bugs delicious. It is like the visual image of the bug. If they'd have to make the bug, if they'd have to take the legs off and like make it look like something else. But if they made it look like something else, yeah. I could do it. I just need someone to make like the most delicious food. They are. One of the things they're doing is making like a cricket meal. So they're like okay. grinding them up. Like and flour. then you can make like a patty out of it. Or yeah, like make it like. <sighs> Yeah, it's really gross. But we're so, in we, trouble, man. I we're know. We're just like destroying the earth with our meat oh, fetish. Oh God. Well, I guess this thing is a cultural thing. If we raised our kids eating bugs from the very beginning, here they would yeah. do it. I, I love scrapple. Scrapple is disgusting, <laughs> and I like love pig, it because I bugs? ate it since I was a kid. It's like all of the gar it's all the scraps of a pig. Yeah. And you just make it into a patty with some cornmeal and fry it up. And then since I've eaten it since I was a kid, I'm like, yeah, this is delicious. Right. So we just have to do that with bugs. Let's just start feeding babies bugs. Another thing, relatedly, they're trying to do is um, focusing on having, uh, at least in America, eating invasive species. Mm -hmm. So species that are not native to the environment they live in. Mm -hmm. So, like, Canadian geese are everywhere. Uh -huh. And uh, one of the things is, like, how do you get people to eat Canadian geese? Especially because they kind of got a bad rap. They're disgusting. They poop a lot. They yeah. brought down that plane and Sully Sullenberg had to save all those people. <laughs> I mean, they have like a bad rap. That's actually the best way to eat them is be like, they're, they're villains. Like revenge, revenge yeah. eating them. We also have Nutria, which are giant rodents that live oh. in the south. That, to me, I don't think so. And I don't know, they're, and they have, they, I don't they, think so. they've kind of made like, okay, like a goose, that's just like a turkey. Yeah, goose seems great. Yeah. But then on the far side of it, there's uh, these invasive, these uh, non-native worms that are actually destroying the hardwood forests around the Great Lakes region. Yeah. And so they're saying, like, maybe we could start eating all these worms. And it is a hard sell to eat a worm. In the future, the president <laughs> would have to be like, to be a good American, you have to eat a certain number of earthworms or else, uh, these, or, or else our environment's going to collapse. That sounds like a shitty dare. Like, oh, well, yeah, well. Yeah. Then I would do it. If someone was like, well, we have to do this, I would do it. But until that time happens, oh, I don't want it. I don't, I don't want it. I don't want it. Oh, so uh, what's gonna eat your brain this week? I guess um, just sort of the idea that this is probably an inevitability. Um, <laughs> but you know, I think we're adaptable. Humans are adaptable. If we have to eat bugs yeah. for our main source of protein, I think we, within a matter of years, we really would figure it out. Yeah. What about you? What's gonna eat your bread? I think the opposite, where I think that what if crickets are the best thing that'll ever have in my life and I just refuse you to eat them because it seems gross. I, maybe I'm not living to my fullest Yeah. because I'm not accepting bugs. Let's try it. Yeah, let's do it. 
Alright. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've yeah. ever eaten a bug or a worm of some sort, please yes. let us know in the comments below. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much for watching. Yep. Goodbye. Bye. We gave it to the who is it? David Chang who runs Malafuku. Oh yeah. Give it to Dominique Ansel. Oh, give it to yeah. some put it chef. On a, uh, put it on a cronut. Um, uh, yeah, just it, throw it in there. We'll eat it. It's fine.